So if you're watching this video, you're wondering, how can I make Call of Duty Cold War fun? Or you probably just pressed on this because you were just curious what I was going to tell you to do to make it fun. And overall, this won't involve zombies, this won't involve campaign. Why would I even mention campaign? Let's be honest, who even plays campaign anymore unless you first got the game? This will actually involve multiplayer, but not normal multiplayer. So with season three, we got the introduction of probably one of my most favorite game modes out of Call of Duty Treyarch modes, especially aside from like infected and one in the chamber, it's sticks and stones. I have been playing this game mode for the past two to three weeks ever since season three has come out. Every single time that I hop onto this game, I have so much freaking fun that I'm surprised that I'm actually enjoying multiplayer. Now I know that it this isn't going for camos or anything like that and it's probably not going to be amazing for your battle pass progression but it's pretty good for leveling up and just overall again having fun. That's the main point of this video. I'll just quickly go over why in my opinion this is a great game mode to play and you can go judge it yourself if you haven't tried it out yet. This will be in the party section of Cold War so it's like this own little game mode thingy that they have and I don't know if this game mode will be always around. Maybe they'll kind of roll it out like they've been rolling out Gun Game or Prop Hunt sometimes but currently all three versions of this so Prop Hunt, Gun Game and sticks and stones is out but we'll be mainly talking about sticks and stones because gun game you know that can be full of sweat and prop hunt you can be in lobbies that just have unfair advantages like glitch spots and things like that if you're new here be sure to subscribe like the video and without further ado let me quickly just go over sticks and stones so the basic premise of this game mode is you have two weapons the crossbow and the ballistic knife which in my opinion are two of the most interesting weapons that we have currently in cold war apart from obviously nothing just because they're in my opinion the most interesting weapons but on top of all of this you have a tomahawk the main point of you winning this game is you have to collect points so for example you can go up to thousands of points and you get 100 points every single time you get either a ballistic knife shot kill or a crossbow kill but if you for example melee with the crossbow or melee with the ballistic knife you will only get 50 points and there's also the tomahawk now the most interesting thing about the tomahawk is when you get a tomahawk kill you humiliate or demote the other player what this means every single point that they collected over time will be instantly taken away from them you will only get 50 points back I'm pretty sure around 100 definitely not ever anything over 100 because nothing gives you over 100 points and this is where everything gets so interesting in my opinion because you can be demolishing the competition the amount of times I have nearly 2,000 score and then whenever I play with my friends they always purposely go after me or we all go after each other because that's in my opinion what makes it even more fun it's just the demoting or humiliating part of the game mode itself you see a player whose top leaderboard there's 30 seconds left your main objective is to go after the player that is the yellow dot the yellow player dot on the mini map is the player with the highest score so you go after them they're your main concentration and trust me this is such a game changer it's so fun and i forgot how good this game mode was back in black ops 1 it's just it's great you know and you also can unlock camos for the crossbow probably the most difficult one that i can find out with the crossbow itself is getting long shots in this game you know there's certain occasions where you can get the long shots the ballistic knife is all fun in games you can panic weapon it like basically you, you run out of your bullets on your crossbow and you're trying to 1v1 someone so you just whip out the ballistic knife and try to shoot them you miss and then all both of you just start trying to knife each other but you keep missing and then one of you actually have a tomahawk and you kill them it's just so fast paced so fun and it's the only thing that's actually motivated me to go back onto cold war not even zombies is doing that for me right now obviously we're getting season 3 reloaded soon but this is just overall i'm pretty sure this will be just one of the funnest game modes if they don't add infection or one in the chamber fingers crossed they do and you have an insane roster of maps even in sticks and stones you can get nuketown which is so fast paced every single time you spawn in you might get a certain amount of points next time you spawn in tomahawk straight away it's crazy fun so if you haven't tried it out yet go ahead maybe pop in with a game of your friends you know teamed up with you because it's kind of like a free-for-all and see who wins and it's top three so even if you come second or third you still win you still get a bunch of xp tier progression eh. but you know it's fun go ahead try it out i just thought i'd make this video just to let you guys know because i was like you know what this can probably save some of your non-enjoyment of the game so basically you know if you've not been enjoying it this could probably at least let you have some fun so again be sure to subscribe if you're new here like the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out